Hello, welcome to another Friday Artwork video. So a bit of a difference in this one, and I did mention in a previous week. Chronologically, I'm entering a period where I've got pretty slim pickings in terms of singles that I can have on camera look at artwork. So I thought one way round it is to revisit some early theme decks that I have. Now I have opened these theme decks on camera before, um, but I feel that these are going to benefit from higher resolution and also the fact that I'll be able to zoom in better. I have a proper tripod um, and you know just a whole load of other things which are different now than they were when I originally unboxed these. So I've still kept these in their original format um, probably just in case I did anything like this. So I've got the original box and this was the tombstone deck, so it's a black and blue um, it's a cycling cards, but there's there's a bit more to this deck than actually that. It's not just a black and blue deck actually. There's some um, some white manner in here as well. So yeah, in this black and blue deck, cycling cards give you options while reanimation cards bring back the pain over and over. So 60 cards, it's got a strategy guide in it, which we'll have a quick look at. And then there are the, four, the three other pre-cons that were part of the Urza Saga pre-cons. So Special Delivery, The Plague and Sleeper. And in terms of chron chronology, I'm pretty sure this is like the earliest theme deck that I have. So what we'll do, I think, is... I'll go. I'll do a, like a one of my old school flip throughs where I just flip through the deck, um, so you can see the whole cards and I'll, you know say how many copies there are stuff like that. And then we'll do a zoom in section, and I'll zoom in so we can take a close look at the artwork. So it's more like a Friday artwork video. But first up, I thought you might quite like to look at the strategy guide here. So this like this little booklet. And um, what's interesting is it's got all of the like the abilities that are related to the, that particular set. So cycling is a thing, echo, stuff about sleeping enchantments, growing enchantments, effect duration, trample, the decks themselves. So what it does with this is, you can see, it actually lists all of the decks. And there's also this idea, uh, which has obviously been picked up on, on you know, a number of decks since then, of like how to enhance the deck with suggestions. Now I don't think it was with this particular deck, um, but... They were getting to a point with these where they actually sp give you specific copies of cards to add um, and also a suggested sideboard. To the point of in one particular part in Magic's history, the theme decks actually came with an enhanced deck list as well. I don't think that's the case here. But certainly it looks like... Oh no, there it is, look. Yep, there's the enhanced deck list. So yeah, so I knew they'd done it, but I didn't know at what point. And then they sort of abandoned that idea. So we've got the basic death deck list. Also, there's a little bit of the the story in here as well, Blackgown story. Oh. You can see, oh, there we go again, back to the deck. So that's been wedged in the middle there. So again, basic deck, enhanced deck for all of the decks. Here's our tombstone one. So I'm pleased it turned out that this does actually have this. I, I hadn't, you know, bothered 
um, looking at this deck before I did this because I just quite like the excitement of not knowing exactly what I'd get. The only thing I did was slightly reorganise the deck top to bottom. Um, cool, yeah, so it's got all the where the cards are coming from. Huh. Oh look, it's even got some, wow. I don't even know if I went through this in my original video. Has this got a different format? So it's all, yeah, look. It's amazing what, what you can find, isn't it? Appendix, information for new players. Multiplayer magic. This article took from the more the merrier. Okay. So we're in what, pre-EDH here? Your sphere of influence. Okay. Well, so it has a just just a suggest broad suggestion here for multiplayer, including specifics here like partnership magic. Oh, here we go. Two. Oh, here, oh, wow. Two Eddie Giant Emperor. It's got the more, it's got quite a, well, I say the more, it's got quite a few here. Works with six players. Wow, a bit of history there. Okay, that's enough of the wows. <laughs> so let's zoom in a little bit. Just to get the cards, you can see the cards clearer. And we'll do my old sort of flip over thing. And then like I said, I'll zoom in a bit more and we'll have a look at the artwork a bit closer. So we've got some diabolic servitudes here. Let's see how many. Oh. So three diabolic servitudes. Expunge. Just one of those. And there's one he victimizes. Now oh, a couple of those. We have an exhume and a despondency. So there's a few one offs here. We've got sicken and an abyssal horror, which has discard. Phyrexian Ghoul. So quite a, um, a mixture of creatures here. You get quite a bit of stuff to try out. Turn about. A catalogue. There's a couple of those there. A rescind. We've seen black, we've seen blue. Power sink. Okay. A few of those. Confiscate. Sandbar serpent. Yep. So we got this three. Yep, three of those. Pendrel Drake. So multiple copies of those. Somnifor. Oh, Wizard's Mentor. So back to the one-offs. Stern Protector. Sandbomb uh, Folk. Probably notice there's quite a few cycling creatures on here. And then we get onto the white card. So we have a Humble. And we've actually got multiple copies of that, but just two. There's our disenchant. So this would be the the Urza's saga. 
version. And we have multiple copies of that. That's three. So now we get onto the mana base. And what I've done here is I've uh, alternated. So there's all the land that generates white, white mana and then blue and then black. Both non-basics and basics together. So you'll see what I mean in a moment. So you'll notice that there's a couple of copies of Drifting Meadows. So these are the cycling lands. Then we get our plains with that lovely there's a saga artwork. So very nice. So just three of those I think. Then we get our remote isle which is our blue cycling land. And there's two copies of that. As you probably see already, and I've mentioned, there's quite a lot of cycling stuff in this deck. Because, of course, you want, for a lot of the cards, you want stuff in the, in the graveyard. And then we have our islands. So look at this artwork. It's going to look even better when we get up close. So... A lot more islands in here than uh, plains. And then we have the cyclone in black, which is the polluted mire. And again, a couple of copies of those, as we've seen in the two other colours. And then here's our swamps from the set. So what I'll do in a moment when I zoom in is to avoid having duplications once we've seen, you know, look just how many cards are in the deck or how many copies of the various cards. I'll just show you a single copy of everything. Um, so I will move these off camera and try and do it a slightly different way than normal. So we can do that. Although there's quite a, as you've seen, there's quite a few one-offs, but I think with some of these where there's three offs, it's going to get a bit irritating if I have a lot where I've got the same artwork all the time. So check out the Diabolic Servitude. And that was one that had three copies. We're going to get a lot more cheese board action in this video, probably. There's our expunge. There was just one of those. There's our victims. A couple of copies there. Despondency. Second, I will include a link to the original unboxing if you're curious. Some 
Bricks in gold, eh? And they could be a turnabout, you'll see. We can't see this, but these are a lot of these are one offs. Catalog, that if you remember, was a two off. Because the thing I think I notice most with these cards is just the the style of the borders. Um, pretty, yeah, pretty different when you compare to how they are now. Three copies of Sandbar Serpent. So many cyclers. There are also three copies of Pendle Drake in here. And then back to some, some more of the one ofs. We had a couple of humbles, and then there were these three disenchants. Now moving on to that land base artwork so I remember there's, there's a couple of drifting meadows and then I will show you the planes artwork the different ones that are in here so there were actually only three planes in the deck and each one was a different piece of artwork, so we'll get to look at those. Which there were two. Now we'll get on to the 
island artwork. So for this we've got what, four different pieces of artwork, I think, yeah. Let's have a look. the first piece of artwork. Is around what nine nine or something islands in total. That's the second piece. Third. And then finally there. And then we're now on to our black manor, so we have another one of these cycling lands, polluted mire, which there were two of those. And with the swamps, there's nine of those, but we should have, all oh, because of that one each of the four pieces of art. So it's really only the planes where we didn't, we haven't got to see like all of the artwork that was in the set for that because we could only see three of those because there was only three in the deck and there's four pieces of art. That's the, light, the final piece. So hopefully that brought a smile to your face like it did me. Uh, we've got a few more of these that I can, I'll be doing over subsequent weeks and then digging in to find some other stuff as well beyond that until we sort of get caught up with ourselves and I can get looking back at singles again around the time of sort of 8th edition era I suppose. Thanks once again for watching, bye for now and I'll catch you in a future video.